welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. I have a very interesting topic, I believe, today that you may enjoy. I'm going to give you an example of what happens when a man in real life decides to protect a woman that isn't his. I'm going to show you a story about a man who has a wife and children who are walking in a mall, but yet at the mall, he witnesses a woman being attacked by her boyfriend. And he says, hold on, I'm going to go help that woman right there. I want you to see the consequence of this decision that he made. Hold on one second while I pull it up. This is for fair use. I'm using these clips out of fair use. And for educational purposes, the purpose is to warn you of this foolish act. Let's get started. It's the songs that plays back in your head. It's the whole scene that plays back in your head. It was supposed to be a simple shopping trip that changed Makia Ford's life forever. She watched her boyfriend and infant baby's father, Thierry Bastien, get shot six times. In the front of the baby and in the front of my kids and in the front of me. Her husband, her husband is now dead because she he wanted to go help a woman that he did not know, a stranger. He was shot six times to death in front of his wife, who is now a widow, and also in front of his child, who is now an orphan. Think about what I'm saying right here. Why am I bringing this up? Because this whole fiasco of that woman who got hit in the head with a brick and she was complaining, complaining about men not protecting her, and men are getting bashed because of that. And I want you to understand, gentlemen, because a lot of these gentlemen out here are believing they should have they should intervene when they see a man jumping on a woman, even if they have a wife, child, or whatever. I want you to understand the dangers of that. So let's keep playing. Of my kids and in front of me, that's something I'm never, ever going to get over for the rest of my life. Ford says she and Bestien witnessed a man beating up a woman inside this Lauderdale Lakes Walmart. No one tried to help the woman out, and Ford says Bastien came to her aid. When he threw her down and he started punching on her is when he ran off to go help her, and I pulled him back and I told him to don't go. And I want y'all to hear that. See, when a woman is actually operating in her feminine energy, she is there to add to a man because she's a helper. She is a subservient. She was designed to assist the man. When a man is not thinking clearly, she is supposed to be acting in her feminine energy to give him a warning. What she was doing, the mother in her, the, the motherhood that was in her who wanted a father for her child and also the wife in her who wanted a husband. All these things came into play right then. She did not want to see her husband get into a situation that could possibly end his life or get hurt. Now notice the news reporter said while this woman was getting beat, nobody was helping this woman. They were just there. So you don't know what's going on with these men and these women. You don't know if that's a toxic relationship where they always do that or not. All we know is that this gentleman lost his life trying to help a stranger. Lauderdale Lakes Walmart. No one tried to help the woman out, and Ford says Bastien came to her aid. When he threw her down and he started punching on her is when he ran off to go help her, and I pulled him back and I told him to don't go, and he said he'd just go in to help. Bastien and the alleged shooter, a Walmart employee who was off the clock, to Roni Sterling tussled, and investigators say Sterling shot him. Ford pleading with the shooter after the first shot to spare her boyfriend's life. I had to think about it. Let's break this down. The man who was beating the woman was a Walmart employee who was off, who wasn't working that day. He was off the clock. This woman's husband went over there to stop him from fighting his girlfriend. And what happened? Another fight ensued. Do you really think if a man is fighting his girlfriend and you try to stop that, that he's going to stop being angry? Stop being hostile. He turned his anger on this man because he had no business interrupting what he had going on. So now this man pulled out his weapon and shoot her husband. As soon as her husband hit the ground, the wife ran up and begged the man, please do not end the life 
of my husband please begging but the man is so mad he shot him to death anyway think about this all you gentlemen out there who want to tell men to intervene in somebody else's business you will be in the morgue with a toe tag this is not the first time something like this has happened Ford pleading with the shooter after the first shot to spare her boyfriend's life i had the baby in my hand i was like no please even if it's for the baby even if it's for the baby and he just stand over him and he just shot him. Sterling was arrested Tuesday night and appeared in bond court today where he was denied bond. Sir, you're charged with murder while engaging in certain felony offense. For Ford, it won't bring the love of her life back, which she says was an amazing father. He was really all about his family working and taking care of his family. And you just took. See what happened? Sound like he was a good man, but he was a um, gullible decent man a, sound like a man who actually wanted to be in his child's life and raise a family now that child is going to grow up without a daddy and if you look at the statistics when it's ch when a child is raised up in his household without a father and if that child is raised with a single mother everything tends to go bad for that child according to statistics i don't have them with me right now you can look them up yourself they're more likely to get in drugs they're more likely to join gangs the more likely to go to jail and prison all because a father is absent and he gave up his life for a stranger and the woman that he protected probably never even went to his funeral he says was an amazing father he was really all about his family working and taking care of his family and you just took that away from us and that's not fair it's I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to sound mean to some of y'all, but that shooter did not take him away from you, lady. Your husband took you, took himself away from you. His husband, your husband should have stayed still. If it's that bad, you should have called the police. That's what should have happened. You do not get involved because, again, you don't know if that man had a knife or a gun. But in, in this case, we know he had a gun. You don't know what it was, was going to happen. Your husband sacrificed your family for a stranger. And you just took that away from us. And that's not fair. It's not fair to the kids. And it's not fair to me having a big heart that he have, he went down as a hero, but it's sad. He did not go down as a hero. He went down as a fool. He went down as a dummy. I know this sounds harsh, but it's true. That was a foolish, stupid decision what he did. He was not a hero. That is not heroic what he did. That was stupid what he did. He had too much on the line. Too much on the line. A newborn child, now that mother will always have the vision, the image of her husband bleeding out, hurt, wincing in pain because a bullet in him as she's begging the assailant, the shooter, to please don't take my husband's life. That will always be a part of her life. And that boy will always know that he don't have a father. He's a, that, that whole family now is just another statistic. So you tell me, was that a, a heroic thing to do? It wasn't. It was stupid. I, I tell you, man, you chase hate black men. That's why, like... I just I just broke down something so logical that that everybody can understand. No woman who loves her son would want to see her son try to protect somebody else and end up being killed. No woman who loves her husband will want to see her husband try to protect another woman or get ki and get killed. That we just saw an example of that in the first clip. That man who died trying to protect the woman that he did not know. His wife tried to keep him from going out there she did not want to see her husband to get see her husband get killed people who love you will protect you people who love you will correct you and they will restrain you as that woman was trying to restrain her husband but she he wouldn't listen get killed that just it just y'all don't deal in reality or you don't or you just don't love your son your brother your dad or your husband Y'all think y'all y'all think we supposed to be out there just playing superhero for every for every woman that we ran a woman we see like come on that just just not it's just not reality it's just not be yo listen if you don't have a man just say so 
Just say so. But I guarantee you, if you had a man and you loved him, or if you had a son and you loved him, you man, you will be like, man, you y'all better mind your business. That's what mama used to tell us. Y'all better, boy, you better mind your business. Yeah, and that's what a lot of these women are making. The ones who are making this argument that you should have protect this woman, should that you should protect the woman that's in trouble like this, or single women, majority of the time. Single women, divorcees, bitter women who don't have a man, can't keep a, a man, can't keep a relationship going. Because like he said, and I really agree with him, if some of these women had husbands, sons, boyfriends, fiancés, they would tell those men to stay out of people's business. Don't risk your life over a woman that you don't know. Because I am all the woman you need and all that nonsense, right? Yeah. Think about it. Losing your life. Now, what I'm about to do is play a clip from that man who was actually there when the woman got hit with the brick, boom, on the side of her face. I call it pumpkin head because her head is shaped like a pumpkin, especially when the brick hit it. It swole like a pumpkin. This man has been under attack ever since he told everybody that he didn't help that woman because she's a troublemaker. She provokes people to try to go viral. Now, he got something to say to all of y'all, and I think it's very funny, but I, I respect what he's saying. Let's keep going. Let's get it. For all the single old black women who are independent, that don't need a man for nothing, that don't need a man for protection, I'm suggesting you get yourself a brick. It's only 58 <laughs> cents. So you can put... Ladies, I like this guy already. He telling y'all, since y'all so mad and stuff, y'all talking about that brick lady and stuff, and you mad because men ain't protecting you, why don't you go ahead and get yourself a brick? I like his sarcasm. I'm suggesting you get yourself a brick. It's only 58 cents. So you can protect yourself. Instead of talking down that man and expecting man to come protect you when you when you start trouble. And I wasn't victim blaming. I didn't blame nobody. I didn't blame her. All I'm saying is it wouldn't have gone as far as he did if she also had walked away. And how come nobody is even asking about the guy that hit her with the brick. I, nobody even asked me who he is. Everybody just... Great point. Have y'all noticed this? Have you noticed how everybody has been caught up in the sensationalism or the emotionalism of this situation? Have you noticed how no one is even asking who the man was that hit the lady with the brick? Have you noticed that no, no one has even asked for a police report? I think this was staged some of it. Might not have been, but it seems that the focus is on the wrong person. You need to find the person who hit you. But no one has, no one's saying nothing about that person. Just saying. Asking about the guy that hit her with the brick. I, nobody even asked me who he is. Everybody just so, so focused on uh, me not being there, me not telling the truth, but nobody's even focused on who actually hit her with the brick. Have anybody even tried to find out who he was? How come I don't see nobody posting him? How come I don't see <laughs> nobody posting the guy that actually hit her with a brick? How come nobody's asking about him? Right. I'm not victim blaming, but you guys want to be so independent. You guys don't need no man. So when you do get hit on your face, in your face with a brick this big, because this is this exact brick that it, it was not the exact brick, but this was the style of the brick. And he grabbed it like this, and bang! I saw the. <laughs> <laughs> I like this dude, man. And bang! <laughs> brick, but this was the style of the brick. And he grabbed it like this, and bang! I saw the makeup fall off her face and attach it. <laughs> it. Excuse me. <laughs> this, and bang! I saw the makeup fall off her face and attach the brick. I saw the brick fall down. It was like when Beckham scored his last goal. You, could, you should have seen the way the brick bend across her face face all the way to the cheekbone <laughs> I, I like this dude i like dude man i like him man i just <laughs> I, I saw the makeup fall off her face and attached to the brick i saw the brick fall down it was like when Beckham scored his last goal you, could, you should have seen the way the brick bend across her face all the way to the cheekbone <laughs> i couldn't do nothing about it i was not going to sacrifice my life for a total stranger who is causing chaos. Right. And I stand with what I said and I will do it again a heartbeat. I'll watch. I'll watch as the, uh, as, the, as the brick goes across her face. 
and do nothing about it. And I'm not ashamed of it. Once again, I wasn't victim blaming. Uh, she don't deserve what she got. But once again, she could have still avoided it. She could have avoided by walking away. Keep her mouth shut. Right. It's that simple. Like I hate to say it, but it's that simple. Walk yep. away. And she didn't. She kept on. She kept on talking. She kept on talking. Not everybody is your father. Not everybody is your brother. Right. So, so watch the way you talk to people in public, because people can react a different way. Imagine if you had shot her. She could have been dead by now. So don't talk crazy to stranger in public and expect a black man to come and protect you. Get a brick. Protect yourself. Brick City. <laughs> Boy, I, I hope to see more videos of this cat, man. I hope he going, he going in now. I don't blame him, man. Y'all just jumping all over that man because he he chose the the wisest path to save his own life. Cause that man had a um a daughter. He said in another video, y'all just tripping. I thought that was hilarious though when he got on. He had me rolling. Listen to this one right here. In regards to black women not being protected, let me first state the obvious no man should put his hands on a woman we desire protection but sometimes what we don't understand is that true protection comes with a level of control bodyguards are a good example a bodyguard will make their client leave from a dangerous place the bodyguard has to know all the details who what when where why and how and the client has to listen to the bodyguard and follow the instruction that the bodyguard gives them it's really an agreement between all parties involved. When the person who needs protecting does not follow the instruction and the direction of the protector, it puts the protector in a situation where they're more likely to lose their life. I have four brothers and a father, and I listen to their instruction even when they're not around. They have told me to stay away from certain places if I'm by myself or if it's late at night. They've also advised me not to be drunk or high in certain situations. And you know why that's that is because they love you they love you see if most of these women had good decent men with them that who love them they wouldn't be in situations where they get knocked in the head with a brick a man is a protector see the thing is you got to let a man have authority over you in order for him to protect you you got to allow a man to tell you don't dress like this don't let him don't go over here cut these friends off you got to let a man protect the way that he sees he needs to protect you because when a man wants to protect you, it's, it's not always physical. It could be mental. It could be things that he see coming up or far off. It's okay. If she don't change this right here, this could be really bad for her. She don't see it right now. She don't. She's all caught up in what she want to do. But he can see it through his masculine wisdom. He can see it. And he tells you to cut these people off. Stay away from that. It's, it ain't because he's trying to be controlling or possessive. He's protecting you. A lot of you don't know what protection is. All of y'all think protection means a man gonna come through riding on the back of a horse with a Conan, a barbarian sword, and just vanquishing all the dragons or some shit. No, that ain't what this is. Men are logical. We analyze things. A lot of men are, some men are very analytical to where they just dissect situations and say, okay, we got to avoid this situation because this or this or this may happen. Even though my brothers, my dad, and the men in my life protect me, I in turn protect them by listening to them and following their instruction. Yes. They don't have to come to my defense in some wild scenario because if I listened to them, I wouldn't have been there in the first place. And this is another thing I feel like is pertinent to say, and I know folks ain't gonna like this one. Say it. I don't have sons right now, but when I do have sons, I'm gonna teach them that there's a difference between diamonds and dirt and rubies and rocks. Rubies and diamonds are often in jewelry stores. They're in glass cases, they're secured, there's an alarm system. There's a lot of layers of protection because those things are valuable. But you could pull over to the side of the road and find some dirt and rocks. Expecting a man to risk his well being, his future, and his life on someone who does not see value in themselves or the man is asinine. That's a very asinine thing to ask. All I'm saying is protection comes with a little bit of sacrifice. It comes with a little bit of control. And me personally, I feel that what I have to sacrifice and the amount of control I have to give up is 100% worth it to receive the protection that I've been getting my whole life. Give up your control. In other words, submission. She's bringing up the word humility and submission. That's what that means. Giving up your control. 
listening, not being stubborn, letting a man lead you. Now, when she made the analogy about, you know, rocks and dirt, diamonds and pearls and all that, yada, 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 she was trying to make an analogy of women, if you caught it or not. The woman who got hit in the head with a brick and stuff, she was trying to say that woman was the, the dirt and rocks, didn't really have any value. Not someone that somebody would actually find value in. Not someone that's loud and ghetto, but a lady, a genuine, submissive, cooperative lady, that's the diamond and the pearl that she was talking about. I like the metaphor as well as the um, analogy she made. I got one more thing to play. I don't like these people I'm going to play. Uh, fresh and fit because of those um, racist statements that they made. But the only reason I'm going to play this is not because I support them at all, but because of something that a woman said on her that blew my mind. This woman don't like no military people. This woman doesn't like um, any um, person in uniform that goes for the police, that goes for FBI, that, that goes for the um, fire department. Anyone who's in a position of protecting other people, she's against. And I want you to hear the dumb reason behind this. She don't care if people die in uniform or not. That goes for the police and also the military. She doesn't care. I'm going to play this for you right now. It's crazy. Because there are men, a majority, that are willing to die to protect the freedom and rights that you currently enjoy now, and you don't even know that they exist and they're in the military. Those men in the military are supporting an occupation across the world. The United States has 800 military bases across the world. They're in, engaging in ongoing colonialism and imperialism right now. Those are not my men. Those are not the people who protect me. The people who... You hear that shit? We, the veterans active duty members, service members, you are not the ones who protect her. But when the war jump off, throw her ass out there. Throw her ass out there. Let her be out there. Let her fight. Because she just took a big, massive dump on every soldier, every sailor, everyone that's involved in special ops. She just took a big, massive dump on every cop, every policeman, every policewoman on every FBI agent, on every Secret Service agent. She just took a big dump on everyone who has a job that may one day require them to bleed and die to protect you or protect your rights or to protect your way of life. This woman is full of delusion. Be self-centered. Don't appreciate nada. This is what we are dealing with. This is a young woman. This is the great example of a backwards, modern-day black woman, in my most humble opinion. Protect me. The people who are protecting right. are my family. The U.S. military does not stand for me, does not protect and me. Your family protects you. My, my mom protects me. My sister right there protects me. My brothers got me. Like, your, brothers, those are your mother, your sisters, and your brothers protect you. Better than the military. Military police exist to give you that right that you're exercising right now. I'm so sorry, but that's just not true. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I think I I lost some brain cells listening to that chick. That that is terrible, man. To have that type of disdain for service members, veterans, and people who come back from war with no legs and still fighting for their little percentage from the VA. Because when you get out the military, now they pay you when you're military. But when you get hurt in the military and you retire from the military, get out the military and you need some um, service-connected benefit to help you just barely make it in life, they don't want to give you a dime. There's people that fight for years just trying to get 10 to 20 percent. That ain't really much of anything. Well, gentlemen, you let me know what you think about this, man, because I thought this was really, really crazy, but especially the last one who just ran her mouth like that. I'll see y'all soon. Y'all have a good day, okay?